We're in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning. Chef Rob Perney's here from Blue on the Water. Great to have you here today. I'm, I'm glad to be back. It's good to have you. What are we going to make today? So today uh, we're making a chicken tortellone. Uh, tortellone is a bigger version of tortellini. So like you can get tortellini at the market. It's usually really small. These are a little bit bigger. Um, they've got a little bit more filling. And what, what is inside? What is inside? Of That's that? got a four cheese blend. So it's got mascarpone, ricotta, parmesan. And, Good stuff. And then a little bit of uh, mozzarella. So That's great. So uh, usually carbonara. So it's going to be a tortellone carbonara. Carbonara is usually getting peas and a bacon and an Alfredo sauce. Okay. So I like to twist a little bit of the classics. So we've got some roasted chicken here. Uh, this has got some salt, pepper, oil, and rosemary on top. Um, these are actually edamame peas. These come in the, sh we take them out of the shell. I love, so I love edamame. Bean. They're very healthy. Yeah, they're they kind of like a good. superfood. Yeah. Um, instead of bacon, we have uh, pancetta here um, that, you know, another pork product. Then we got your, your eggs. Mm -hmm. We'll actually poach an egg, usually carbonara, uh, old, old peasant pasta dish. Usually they put a raw egg on top and they mix it in with the pasta. Okay. So I, I don't want to put a raw egg on top, but I just poach it. It looks really cool. Um, and it obviously adds a little bit of favorite flavor. And then over here, this is, uh, this is prosciutto. We crisp it up real nice oh. and we break it on top. So you got some crunch, you got the nice soft pasta, you got the peas. It's a really cool dish. This is perfect. So is this going to be served as a side dish to the to the chicken? No, this this chicken usually, you know, restaurants will use chicken breast, cut it up. We actually roast it, we'll pull it out, so kind of like old world peasant style, right. and then throw it into the pasta. Okay, all right, perfect. All right, cool. Sounds good. Looks good. Smells good, and we haven't even started cooking yet. Back to you. Thanks, Mary. We are back in the kitchen. Chef Rob is here from Blue on the Water, and we are going to learn the proper way to poach an egg. All right, so the dish we're doing, uh, the tortellone carbonara, we mm. put a poached egg on top. Right. Um, the, there's a couple different ways you can do this. Now, now the object is to have some really super hot boiling water, um, and obviously you need an egg. So That would be key. It, it's key. <laughs> it is um, key. Usually <laughs> you'll see pickle juice or a vinegar or something inside of the water that'll help kind of keep the egg whole. All right, it, so, so that it doesn't fall apart when you put it in the boiling yep, water. So there's a little bit of vinegar in there. Um, I'm going to show two ways. Now, now, classically, just a simple poached egg, you know, you just you crack it on the side here. Right. Let's see. And you Come on, pressure's on. Yeah, I know, pressure's, pressure's on. Live on. TV. <laughs> and you slowly drop it in. I right. Know, a little shell in there. Um, but it's in right, the restaurant, you and I here, nobody will see that. No, no one will see that. <laughs> but but in the restaurant, what we do is just because we're limited on space, we can't have pots all over the stove and stuff like that. What what we do is this is a, a technique. It's called sous vide. That means to cook um, in a water bath. Right. So so we take the egg, we we crack it into some saran wrap or like maybe a little portion bag or whatever. Okay. And you kind of bundle it up. So it's all nice and tight. Mm -hmm. Give it a little twist so w when you drop this in the water, it doesn't s seep out the edge. All right. And you just drop this in. And so that will cook inside? It'll the cook inside the plastic. Inside usually, the plastic. Usually we tie a little bit of butcher twine or something around right, this. Right, just, to hold, keep it, just, it, hold, just it to hold it. Just to hold it. But you can see how, how like, uh, You a had perfect, that in for, like, just a couple of seconds, yeah, and it already begins to cook. you can see it starts to cook, and, and, and it'll, the egg will actually slowly hold itself together in the inside. Okay, and now how long is that going to stay it's in there? It's going to take two or three minutes tops. You can already see the one we dropped in here before is already pretty much poached out. Okay. Um, and we would just sit that right on top of our pasta. You know, you, you know how you crack that sure. egg? Sure, yeah. It leaks all over the sauce. So that, that right there is the, the normal way you would see it at home. But since we have such limited space in the restaurant, we like That's to do way it this way. You, can cook, but you got your pasta water going. You can actually right. put it right in with the pasta because there's no allergy right. there, you know. And so, you're good to go. And you're good all to right. go. Perfect. All right, now we know the proper way to poach an egg. Back to Back in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning, Chef Rob's here from Blue on the Water. We are getting cooking. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. It smells yeah, we, so good. Yeah. We've always already started. So... Um, our tortellone, which is the larger size tortellini, uh -huh. which is just okay. uh, four cheese, it's already in the water. We wanted to get it going. It's a fresh pasta, so it won't take super long. It should take about it. you know three to five minutes. Right. We've already got our chicken cooked over here. It's just a half. You know, it was a full chicken. I cut it in half. Yep. I put salt, pepper, rosemary, gar uh, a little bit of garlic, and oil on it. Uh -huh. um, so that's fully cooked and nice and crispy. What, what temperature did you cook this? I, I cooked this at super high. I actually okay. seared it in a pan to start so it gets mm -hmm. that crispy skin and then I put it in the oven at about 500 degrees. Okay. Wow, yeah, um, that is hot. <laughs> yeah, it should take about 20 minutes. Oh. All right, next up we have this here in the pan. Yep, right? so I saved, this is actually the chicken fat from the chi uh, from the chicken mm -hmm. and this is the pancetta. So we're starting to get a little bit of crisp on this and if you want you can throw the 
the uh, edamame in the, in the pan. Oh, I love edamame. I, love, that's what I was saying too. Yeah, it's like a superfood, so it's super healthy. They've got a little bit more of a bite. Super right. healthy into that chicken fat. Yeah, I know. And I, and I know this will be shocking. I like the edamame where you can put a lot of salt on it too. Of course. Yeah, you got the, the pods and you, you, you put miso and stuff. So yeah. this is just heavy cream. So this is the, the start of a classic Alfredo sauce. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, we've got, you can throw the Parmesan cheese. I'm probably going to take all of it. Okay. And this should help thicken it right up. As soon as it starts to come to a boil, it should thicken up. Beautiful. Put that um, in. A little bit of oil, just because it needs a little bit more oil. That I, olive oil? I like to add olive oil to olive everything. Oil. Mm -hmm. All right. um, a little salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. Not a lot, because the Parmesan adds a lot. Okay. Um, and then once this is done, we'll, we'll pull some of the chicken and throw it in there. And then add the, add the tortellini, or tortelloni. <laughs> wow. Okay, so, so while totally those are totally cooking lovely. along, I know when you have a, a great meal, you want a beverage. Right. To go yep. With and, it I, too. And, and live TV, I forgot <laughs> to deglaze the pan with some wine, but we actually have sexy wine. Uh, they just uh, broke into the U.S. from Portugal. We just yeah. hosted an awesome event with them from. Um, I think it was last Saturday. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, there's three varieties there, but they actually offer mm -hmm. four. They offer a prosecco as well, I believe. Wow. Well, um, yeah, we had them on our show. We had them on actually. your show. Yeah. And they're, this one, yeah, they're all, you know, they get some blends here, red, white. Super delicious. I, I'm a red fan, so if I was, I liked, I liked the red a lot. The red I was liked good. them all. I tried them all. <laughs> I liked them all. Just throwing it out there. Now, I know you said you forgot to, to deglaze a bit. When would we have done that? Uh, I would have done it after I added the, the, the edamame. Okay. okay. All right. What does can, deglazing do? Um, it actually picks up the little bits of flavor that are on the bottom of the pan. Mm -hmm. It adds a little bit of uh, flavor as well from the wine. Um, it's just uh, adds another depth of flavor. Yes, because okay. I know when you're cooking with wine or any sort of alcohol, it all burns off. So yeah, of course. Don't worry, the kids can still yeah, eat it. The kids can still have it. it. Don't worry about it. You can pour yourself a glass um, later on. Can you and grab enjoy me a spoon, with Michaela, please? I absolutely can. And what also, kind of spoon would you like? This one with the holes in it? That's perfect. Okay. Yeah, so also, let's get into uh, blue on the uh, on the water. What's going on there? So blue on the water. We opened up in July. It's an incredible uh, waterfront restaurant. Mm -hmm. um, we we're are located. We're, we're located at the Old 20 Water Street, All which right. was there for a long time. Yep. Um, we are open. We're going to be open year-round. A lot of the restaurants on the water close over there, but we have an awesome uh, event facility. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking to you know, do a, any, any sort of party, we have more than enough space. Um, we're doing brunch on Sundays, which will start this Sunday from uh -huh. 9 to 3. Right. That's great. Um, we have an Oktoberfest coming up on the 13th, which we're going to have 30 different beer uh, samples out there wow. where you can taste. It's free admission, so we're just having, we want people to be able to see our space. And I know you had a great summer, so business was good. Business was great, you know, uh, and now we're just trying to make, you know, people show up in the wintertime, which mm -hmm. I think they will, you know, when, once they taste the food and mm -hmm. see the space. I think so. Even just looking at this, it looks, it looks well, great. So you good. see the tortellone puffed up. It's mm -hmm. all Mm -hmm. The sauce has come together really nice. So this Will we can, is getting hungry. I think I, I can hear your that stomach so rumbling good. from here. You can probably give it a little taste if you like. Oh, here we go. Let's see. Um, Let's see if we're gonna burn ourself in. Yeah, it's gonna be super oh, hot. Just I'll go it off for it. Just a little. But um, this Sorry, will we'll put it in the bowl. We'll put the poached egg on top. Mm -hmm. Serve it with some of this crispy uh, pan prosciutto right there. Just break it on top. We can break this up. Yum. It's an awesome dish. It's the taste test. Yep, we it's just we just went to our full menu. Obviously, we're a, a waterfront we restaurant, so yeah. they, they think. And I'm assuming food. this is on the menu as well. Yeah, this is on good. the menu. Yep. Obviously, we'd add the chicken to this. Yep. And what do you? Are you just like? Yeah, like kind of like shredding shredding it. it? Yep, okay. shred it. I like to put a little bit so of you skin don't do in there. Too fancy. Um, nothing fancy. Okay. Carbonara is an old school Italian peasant dish, so. Keep it easy. Keep, Keep it, it nice. Simple and easy. All right. If you want this recipe for a simple, easy dinner, I'm having more. <laughs> you can head to our website, wpri.com.